Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie and for today's video, we are going back to basics. Um, the reason why I said it's basic it is because um, back in the days when all the colorful eyeshadow palettes are not around, we have the, the warm tones, the brown, the kind of like the brick color, the little orangey color, kind of like that. And it's very, um, what do you call that? Um, glam at the same time neutral kind of like the fall but I know we're in the winter now so but I call it basic just because of the colors that I use for today anyways let's go ahead and start All right, so to begin with, I'm gonna go ahead and use our Remel Stay Matte Fix and Go. So this is a two-in-one primer and setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab my flat brush over here, just like that, okay? And I'm using my Tarte Shape um, Contour Concealer, and this is in light medium. So we're gonna go ahead and just put it on our eyes like that. I am going to use uh, my Morphe 35OM and this is how the palette looks like. A lot of great colors over here. I'm um, talking about going back to basics is because I wanted to make it simple and easy for um, you guys. I'm jumping to my Morphe E17 brush and we are dipping into this color over here. Okay, and we're just going to go ahead and there you go. And then you put it just above your crease. So this is going to be kind of like a sort of transition color. It's a background color, I would say. You just put it above your crease like that. And after that color, we're going to go ahead and dive into one of my favorites over here. And then we're going to go ahead and dip into this uh, reddish color over here it's kind of like reddish brown and I am using this time my Morphe M330 it's a, a fluffy pointed brush let's go ahead and jump into our Morphe M507 and this is like a thinner version of this brush like um this one's a fluffy pointed this one is a thinner pointed <laughs> and I am jumping into this color over here on the bottom okay so we're down to cutting our crease and i'm going to again use my tarte shape uh concealer and it's the light to medium and we're just going to go ahead and put it over here Okay, so after cutting the crease, I'm going to go ahead and just touch base with uh, the same brown color over here on the very bottom. And I am just going to put it over here at the very end. So we are going to our Solar Flare BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to grab a flat brush. There you go, flat brush over here. And uh, this one, I got this brush from um, the Supernatural Monster Hunt. Okay. So we are jumping into the Wavelength, which is this color over here. There you go. That's the color we're going to put there on our inner corner over here. All right. And you kind of brush it to the brown so it, it gets mixed up. Okay. And we're going back to our Morphe and then just grab this color over here to just kind of blend it to that gold. Kind of like orangey gold, actually. There you go. All right, so I think I'm done over here doing that. <laughs> the 
reason why I don't like those patches because when it loosens up, it does that. But fear not because we'll still be able to go ahead and fix it. All we need to do is just put a little bit of concealer over here. Okay, so I was able to go ahead and fix it. I'm grabbing my Epic Ink Liner over here and we're gonna do a cat eye. Okay, so cat eye done. I am just gonna go ahead and put some mascara on my lashes because some of the foundation is still there. I don't have a lot of eyelashes right now. I lost uh, a lot of it actually, but there's some little. Okay, so we're moving to the face right now and I'm using the Morphe Full Coverage uh, Foundation and this is the 330. That's how it looks like. Hmm, might be different on my face now. Uh, okay. Might be orangey or something. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, this is the effect of um, when you don't go out that much. It's orangey. Looks the same as my, my neck. <laughs> Alright, so we are good with that. I am jumping into my Too Faced uh, concealer. Keep using different, different concealers. Gotta try all of them, whichever works into your skin. Okay. So this Too Faced is in warm beige. Warm beige. There you go, like that. And after doing that, we're gonna go ahead and set it a little bit. So I'm using my, um, my Airspun loose powder. And again, you can use whichever loose powder you do have that is compatible with your skin. I use whatever it is that's compatible to my While skin. While I'm setting this, I'm going to go ahead and take care of my eyebrows and I will be back. All right, eyebrows done. And I am going to go ahead and go down to our lower lash line over here. Let's go ahead and just dust it my M326 which is this tiny little brush over here and we're gonna use it on our lower lash line so what we're going to do first is I'm gonna go ahead and just jump into this color over here and this is kind of like to give it a little orangey flavor on it Then we're gonna go ahead and dive into this color. So I'm grabbing my eyeliner over here and it's a charcoal color by Wet n Wild. Because I don't have lashes, so I don't have anything to put on for my mascara over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and line the inner water line of my eye. Okay, so after putting eyeliner on my lower lash line, I'm going to go ahead and touch base with this color over here in the very bottom. And I haven't changed my brush, it's M326 by Morphe. Alrighty, so now that we are done, we are going to go ahead and start contouring our face and I'm going to go to my uh, Smashbox Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette, which is this one. And I'm going to the this color over here, which is the contour. As you can see, it's my favorite. <laughs> Okay, so after contouring, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my uh, True Complexion Contour Palette Light to Medium and I'm going to go ahead and use the Sculpt, my favorite, almost done again. And we're just going to go ahead and just put it like this over here. Okay, 
okay and I think I'm pretty much done with the contouring I'm just gonna go ahead and go jump into my summer in Saint Tropez and as usual I like the color Marina over here and this is what we're going to use for a highlighter right now okay and you're just gonna have to put it over here oh look at that There you go. So basically it's just, you know, you kind of highlight your features over here. I'm using um, my wet and wild brush. It's not a fan brush. I haven't tried a fan brush. I did bought a fan brush, didn't work out for me. So I stick with what's working out. Okay, and then I'll just put it some over here. And then some over here. There you go. And then some over here. Okay, so we are down to our lippy right now. I am going to use LA Girl uh, Lip Liner in Natural GP512. So that's the natural color. Very natural color, okay. <laughs> All right, and we're just going to lip line. All right, and I am going to grab my Breeze. And this is from Wet n Wild. This is from Wet n Wild, and this is the color of that. And it's a very, very light color. I kind of like it when my eyes are darker. Okay, so I think I'm done over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my lashes and I will be back. What do you guys think of the neutral colors that we use for today? Nothing really pinkish or bluish. Um, just, you know, plain bronzy, brown, orangey color for you guys. Um, let me know what you think about the video for today. Please do write your comments and suggestions down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And if you want more contents like this, please do hit that subscribe button down below and a notification bell so you'll be notified when new videos come in. Until my next video, it's so fun spending time with you guys today. I will see you again soon. Bye. Good.